Welcome to the master suite of 106. So how good is this master oh. bedroom with all the light? It's so good. That's what I love about this space. It's got so much light, such a beautiful aspect out here. You can sort of, I think you get a bit of a, a like a really beautiful neighborhood view. But again here, we're just um, continuing the modern Scandi kind of feel, but adding a little bit more um, color than you would generally see in Scandi. All these, this is an awesome bedroom because this has got a queen size bed in it. And as you can see, oh, there's so still much space. plenty of space. You could yeah. easily put a king size bed in here. Yeah. You could also have, you know, much larger side tables and things. But my plan for this room was actually just sort of to keep it simple, but a little bit interesting mm -hmm. at the same time. And um, I love the freshness of green um, for bedrooms. It's just such a nice soothing, um, soothing palette. It and is. again, why I've gone with the like the palm trees, the leaves, and things like that, just to create like soothing. I always use soothing colors in bedrooms. Like you'll never see me put a bright color in a bedroom. Red, red no. feature wall, no red feature walls. Color in a bedroom. philosophy <laughs> says red should never be in a bedroom. You know, so that's a good tip. Yeah, some people like it, but yeah, it's not. Uh, well, red makes you hungry. Is it? Yeah. So no one wants to get hungry and angry. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody wants to be hungry and angry in the bedroom, do they? I am not sure. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Cushions. How many is the right number? How many is too many? Well, that's a really hard question to answer because in the, the land of the interior designer, we actually have a saying that you can never um, over cushion. You can never over cushion. Over -cushion. I like that. Which um, is not necessarily true, but... You know, cushions and soft furnishings are actually how you add the personality, you know, to a room. So, yeah. you know, every bed, yeah. you know, generally you, you need to have sheets and pillows to sleep on and a, a doona, but it's adding those. And so in this instance, you know, I generally have a minimum of four proper pillows, but then I'll always add two to three euros as well. You know, and which, a, a euro is the big yeah, square Yeah, this one. is the euro, that big diamond one there. Oh, and this one? Yeah, that's a, a euro size yeah, pillow. Okay. Just because oh, they yeah. actually create dimension and they create interest yeah. on a bed. And then, you know, and I will, gen I will arrange them in all sorts of different ways. And we'll probably see that as we go through these apartments. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's to create dimension. Okay, so so you're not going for the symmetrical. No, no, definitely not. No I am um, quite I'm like I love symmetry. So you'll see mm -hmm. symmetry in this space by having matching side tables, tables and lamps. But and there's lamps and things like that. I love but those lamps. Symmetry can be um, quite boring to the eye. Okay, you know, yeah. unless it's on a huge scale and it can look mm -hmm. magnificent. Um, but in these sort of cases, you need to be able to create interest for the eye. So that's why I've also placed different size pieces of art and they're not placed symmetrically to sort of make the eye, the eye has to engage mm -hmm. instead of the eye just sort of like, a, oh yeah, I've seen that, it's the same there. It's like, it's different. And it's the same when you see pillows being arranged. If they're just like this, they're just like really boring. Yeah. But if you mix it up, add different yeah. colours, different textures and place them in different ways, it's kind of like, yeah, that makes it a bit more interesting. And it really doesn't take any longer to make a bed with them like that. Okay. 